Welcome back, everyone. In this video, we will create a lab book entry together. We are already in eLab FTW. As I have already mentioned, you can create an experiment or lab book entry in the dashboard. But we will start on the experiments page in eLab FTW. Here, you can already see entries, which we will also look at later. To create a new entry, we just press the Create button. We can also click on the little arrow next to it to create an entry from our templates. But we will now go on with the Create button, and this small window opens where we can select a template. We can choose the default template, a blank template, or one of the templates available to us. The gear wheel takes you to the management of the template. Anyways, we will go by a blank experiment. So we are in the editing mode of our lab book entry. Let's start with the date. By default, the current date is set. You can type in a date here or open this little calendar and choose a date. It can be in the past or in the future. A title is also needed for our entry. Let's name it eLab FTW Tutorial. Next, we can set a category or leave it not set. For now, let's choose the category Tutorial. The same goes for status, but I will keep it ongoing. Categories and status can be managed for a team by the team admins. We will check this out in the admin panel video. Let's move on to tags. Tags are very powerful and help you organize your entries. You can create tags yourself or might have to use existing tags, depending on what your team admins have set. Let's create the tag Tutorial and press Enter or an empty space in the window. And there it is. We can also choose from the suggested tags. These are tags that are already in use in your team, but they are also in autofill in the Add Tag field. If you want to delete a tag, simply click on it in Edit Mode and you will be asked if you want to delete it. Now we come to another important part, the permissions for visibility and writing. Let's take a closer look at the visibility permissions by clicking on the plus button. Here we can select who can see this entry. For the basic settings, you can choose from the drop-down menu. Let's stick with only owner and admins. Under team, you can see all the teams on this eLab FTW installation. By holding Control, you can select or deselect several teams. The same goes for team groups. Team groups are used to organize yourselves better in a project. For example, when there are a few people in your team who are working on a project together, or if you even have people from outside of your team, a team admin can group them in a team group. This way, you will just need to set the permissions for that specific team group, and there is no need to search for all the people belonging to that project. The last point here is users. You can give the rights to see this entry to a specific user. Search for a person and click on Add. That's it. We can finally save what we did here, and now can see the permissions we gave. Exactly the same procedure is done for who can write. This way, there will be a difference between people who can see your entries and the ones who can edit them. Now, let's move on to the main text part. Here, you can do common stuff. You can just type in a text and cut, copy, paste it, even use find and replace. Then change the viewing. You can insert a link, special characters, or use the date and timestamp. You can change the type format. Here are well-known features like bold, italic, super, and subscript, even colors. And you are also able to add a table. Make sure your cursor is set to the place you want to add the table. Choose the size of the table and add it. Many of the functions are also here as shortcuts. Let's continue and press save. Elab FTW also saves itself from time to time, depending on the system settings. Now we will take a look at extra fields. If you want to individualize your lab book entry, this is the right place. Let's click on Add Field and a window will be opened. 
You can group your fields or add groups, but we will focus on just creating fields. First, we chose the field type. There are already many that can be chosen. Let's take text, give it a name, tutorial text, a description, tutorial description, and press save. And there it is. Just type in your text. Now let's create another extra field. How about radio buttons? Name it, define choices, and save. You can change the order of the fields or delete them if you want to. Fine. Next are steps. You can define steps and check them out. Let's do that. First step, record a video for eLab FTW. Add step. Next, share your screen. Edit the video. Upload it. You can check the steps out if you want. Great. Next, we will look into linking stuff. Here, you can link experiments or resources. Just search for the author, the category, or directly type in what you want to link. You can also link things in the main text. Let's scroll up and press the hash key, or use this icon for linking things. It doesn't matter if it's inside eLab FTW or an external link. Fine. Down here, you can easily attach files by drag and drop or just clicking on this field. And you will see the file attached. You are allowed to add any kind of file in eLab FTW. The formats that eLab FTW cannot read are simply attached as a file. Readable files are visible in eLab FTW. Images, for example, can be added to the main text. To demonstrate this, we will now draw something freehand. Press Save, name it, and it's attached as a PNG file. Now we scroll up on the main text part and set the cursor to the position where we want to insert the image. Scroll down, click on the three dots, and then insert in text at cursor position. Great, let's continue. Here in the molecule editor, you can draw molecules or even reaction equations and then attach them to your lab book. Check it out for yourself if you'd like. Great, we now use the save and go back button and end up in the viewing mode of the lab book entry. Here you can see everything again at a glance. Here you can add an official timestamp to the entry, assuming this has been activated in your installation. You can export the entry in various formats, lock it, or even transfer ownership. Let's now go back to the experiments page. The top entry is the most recently edited one. By default, it is sorted by recently edited. But you can also sort it according to other criteria, depending on what you want. If you click on filters, you can also set filter criteria to search for specific entries. Scope is also a very useful feature. It allows you to set which entries should be displayed. Only your own entries, self, the entries of the entire team, or everything, meaning entries from outside your team. One further to the left and you can change the layout. Finally, I would like to mention that you can return to edit mode with the pencil on the left and see a small view of the entry with the small plus on the right. Great. In the next video, we will talk about resources in eLab FTW. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us or leave a comment. Goodbye.